This video is based on the recent publication by Dr. Keith Johnson of MIT in the International Journal of Astrobiology. Over 30 years of searching for dark matter, proposed exotic elementary particles such as WIMPs and axions have not been observed experimentally, even in the latest large underground xenon lux and MIT abracadabra detectors. Nor have the WIMPs predicted from supersymmetry theory been created in the CERN Large Hadron Collider. Other types of dark matter, such as neutrinos and black holes, have been proposed, but thus far not enough of it has been found. WIMPs and axions are non-baryonic elementary particles. Baryonic dark matter, composed of atoms or molecules, has been ruled out in conventional cosmology because it is believed there's not enough of it in the universe. But what about hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe, and the main component of stars and gaseous nebulae? It has been suggested that interstellar hydrogen can form Rydberg matter, a low-density condensed phase of weakly interacting hydrogen atoms. Rydberg matter can become quantum entangled over long effective distances, causing it to be transparent to visible, infrared, and radio frequencies, and thus qualifies as baryonic dark matter. However, hydrogen is not the only interstellar element that can form Rydberg baryonic dark matter. Oxygen, second only to hydrogen in abundance and chemical reactivity, readily combines with hydrogen to form water molecules. It is also known that water molecules can bond to form nano-sized clusters. Here we see five water molecules forming a pentagonal nanocluster. This nanocluster vibrates in the terahertz region of the electromagnetic spectrum. Its cutoff vibrational frequency is 1.5 terahertz. The lowest entropy nanocluster formed by water pentamers is a pentagonal dodecahedral cluster. The dodecahedron contains a hydronium ion, H3O+. This water nanocluster also vibrates at terahertz frequencies. Such nanoclusters are like giant atoms, with electron wave functions that extend from the cluster. These water nanocluster molecular orbitals are also Rydberg orbitals, and therefore are the basis for Rydberg matter. Electron occupation of these Rydberg orbitals explains why such water nanoclusters are transparent, and thus are dark matter. Cosmic dust, from supernovae explosions, a scourge to many astronomers, some who may even have lost a Nobel Prize because of it. Yet, cosmic dust, coated with thin layers of amorphous water ice, is a blessing in disguise. With the help of incident cosmic radiation, water nanoclusters are ejected into space from the amorphous water ice coatings of the cosmic dust. Thus, water nanoclusters, ejected from amorphous ice-coated cosmic dust, constitute Rydberg matter. They interact both gravitationally and directly with ordinary matter, and become quantum entangled over long distances in space, causing them to be transparent to visible, infrared, and radio frequencies. Therefore, they are baryonic dark matter. Rydberg matter is a low-density substance, so one doesn't need a lot of it to explain dark matter, compared with non-baryonic elementary particles, such as WIMPs, axions, and neutrinos. A recently published study of dark matter in distant galaxies has found a direct interaction between dark matter and ordinary galactic baryonic matter, supporting this scenario.